Hey guys, I'm going to, have to apologize early, and the reason why, the reason why I'm doing so is if you haven't seen the movie Anchorman 2, you might as well go ahead and uh, watch it because I'm going to be spilling out maybe a little bit of beans, a few of the beans as far as that movie because I'm going to go see it early today. And you know, nine years later, Will Ferrell is still acting a fool. I put that same quote on my status on Facebook after I got done, got done watching the movie. You know what, if you're expecting it to uh, maybe go down a little bit as far as uh, maybe ratings or the humor, don't worry about it. They they keep it going. Like I said, nine years later, they still keep it going. Ridiculously funny. Pretty much brought back the whole crew. Uh, obviously added some more as well. It's just stupid funny. I'm just sitting back watching that movie today like, what in the world am I watching? You know, so, hey, with all those uh, actors they had, and obviously with their past, when it comes to comedy, they hit it right on point. And there are a lot more actors, too, later in the movie, and you got to see as far as what I'm talking about, too. So it'll be really crazy. I mean, I was, like, trying not to laugh, but it was just, it was just so stupid funny, you just keep on laughing the whole time. You're like, what in the world? From, like, explosions, and then uh, this fights, and this just... <laughs> Some of the the punch lines that were saying in the movie, oh my gosh, it's absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous. So yeah, go ahead and watch it. It's pretty funny. Uh, I don't know if it was PD13 rated R. I can't remember, but if hey, most of us out here online, majority of us are are adults. Might have some kids as well, but you know, it's still a funny movie. And would I, would I advise it more uh, so? Is, uh, then my part, you watch it. It's on you. You gotta be a fan of uh, maybe a particular actor. So I mean, for me, when I saw it came in one, I thought it was funny. So see the uh, one earlier, the sequel, I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, you enjoy it. This uh, cut and dry, you you will enjoy it. And obviously too, with next year coming out, looking at uh, some of the movies that will be coming out next year, it's gonna be pretty loaded. Um. I know they got like the sequel to uh, the Planet of the Apes. Uh, 300 comes out here in uh, March next year. I know they got some Hercules movie coming out as well. Uh, Transformers 4 comes out as well. I know there's um, say the Guardians of the something. I think Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy, I think that's with the Marvel Comics. I'm not too sure. No, that comes out as well. So it, again, I can't keep on going on. There's a lot more to this. It's going to be loaded come next year, as far as movies coming out. I mean, oh, another one was uh, Godzilla coming out as well. And I was a huge Godzilla fan growing up, so I'll be kind of real anxious to see see their previews. And again, you can check out a lot of previews here on YouTube anyway to see what I'm talking about the movie listings. That I'm talking about because um, I know this, for example, just talking about Godzilla. Don't expect it to be like the one in '98, the one that was just strictly from here in America and it basically killed the movie because it looked like a giant T Rex off of Jurassic Park. Uh, with the way the previews I saw already here about a couple of weeks ago, it would not be like it, not even close. So that's good. Transformers 4, they're starting like another, I think, trilogy. That's the rumor I heard. So. We're going to see how that comes about. I think, um, obviously, I think the new Planet of the Apes movie as well. That'll be the sequel for the one that came out a couple years ago. So that's going to be interesting as well. 300, I'll also cross my fingers with that, hoping that they don't mess that up because I don't know how you how you try to uh, make an encore with that movie. So there's some interesting movies coming out being loaded for next year. But as far as Anchorman 2, they, like I mentioned, they didn't disappoint with that movie at all. So, uh, yeah, if you're, uh, like I said before, if you're into that first one, you'll be laughing your behind off watching the second one. So I'm going to keep on rambling on. Just uh, wanted to get that out, just to uh, let people know, and also uh, give people some heads up about the other movies coming out here in 2014. So with that being said, talk to you guys later.